Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hello, I'm Joey McWilliams. I am joined today on the summit by a senior from Washburn, Faith Rottinghouse. Faith, thank you so much for taking time with us today. Listen, I'm excited and privileged to have you on the show today, not only because of what you've done over the the years at Washburn, and it's a stellar career. We'll talk about that, but also what you've done recently, this week's reigning MIAA Defensive Athlete of the Week, 5.29 digs per set over four matches. The team went three and one. You're able to get five service aces in there as well, too. I think it's just just along the way, an added bonus. But I think another thing that's big in all of this is that you crossed the 2,000 dig plateau for your career there at Washburn. Congratulations on a great week. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me on. Well, listen, talk about the week then. Three and one, pretty solid week. You all are eight and one overall. Uh, what went into having a week like you had? Um, I think that this last weekend, it was awesome to go out to Colorado Springs and to play some great teams. And the three and one, it sounds okay, but <laughs> the team that we lost to, it taught us a lot about ourselves and what we have to work on. And that was an extremely important game as we head into this next weekend. And Starting the MIAA play, every single team's good, and on any given day, any team can win. So it was really good for us. And the MIAA is such a solid league and a part of the central region, which we know is where volleyball is just king in the central region. But to, to get to that, you know, you've been an all MIAA performer throughout your career at Washburn uh, and first team, both your sophomore year and junior year. Talk about receiving that honor. It's a big deal. Yeah, I think that it definitely, it's nice to feel sometimes some little bit of recognition here and there is great for everybody. And it makes you just, it does make it kind of sweet at the end of the season when you've worked your tail off all season and you kind of just, you're like, okay, it does feel good. But at the same time, it always feels better if you come home with that championship or <laughs> something like that. So we got to keep working. Got to keep working. Well, you're putting yourself in a great position here in 2021. We're speaking with Faith Rottinghouse here on Midwest Sportsnet. I do encourage you, please subscribe to the channel as we are continue, continuing to grow and we cover a lot of small college sports, including Division II and the NAIA. Division II volleyball we're talking about right now with Faith. And I look at these stats. I enjoy covering volleyball. I enjoy broadcasting. It's such a fun game to call. It's a fun game to watch. Uh, when you talk about your position as a defensive specialist, I, you know, you look at the numbers. Uh, when you see four digs per set, that's pretty solid. Okay. You've gone beyond that. Not only are you averaging five digs per set, but you've done it throughout your career. Freshman 4.79 throughout that season. Then you get to your sophomore year, 5.08. Last year or your junior year, forget the COVID year, 5.55 digs per set as a junior, 5.23 right now. That's good enough for 5.12 for your career coming into this season. Faith, that's a huge number. What goes into doing something and keeping that level of consistency? I think the biggest thing for me is that I know, like, if that is the part of my game that I can control the most. And just by giving that effort to go up and get every single ball to help our team be a little bit more successful here and there. And the biggest thing for me is it's kind of fun for when a hitter thinks that they're going to get a kill and then you come in hot and just – it and it's kind of like yeah well, that is awesome that is awesome well and you know what i know that goes a long way for your team too because when they know they can count on you for at least five of those every set and you're able to steal a kill every now and again that they thought they may have you're putting that that team in a good position to win a team right now that's eight and one and has moved up in the avca national rankings to the number three spot how does that feel it feels good, but at the same time, as much as rankings we talk about sometimes, but we don't address them and we don't play to the rankings. We have to come in every single day and work hard because people are trying to knock us down and we have to try to knock a few more people down. And the only rankings that really truly matter are the ones at the very end of the season. So That sounds like, like wisdom from a senior. Is that <laughs> 
Is, th- is that the case? <laughs> yeah, been here a few years. So, <laughs> well, you've had a chance to play for Coach Chris Heron for a few years there too, and I know he's done a fantastic job there at Washburn. Talk about your time there in Topeka and playing for Coach Heron. Yeah, I honestly I love it, and I wouldn't imagine any other place to call my home. So, it's great. Um, I honestly, whenever I came into Washburn, I knew I'd like it but I didn't know how much I would because it is so close to home for me so I just live like 25 minutes down the road so (laughs) it is kind of nice though to always be in this community and the Topeka community is amazing and then just being able to be coached by Coach Heron he's intense but he does everything he does out of love and wanting us to get better so it's amazing to know that he always has our backs And he's going to push us to be the best that we can be both on and off the court. Well, and being that close to home too, I'm sure it was a little bit easier for him to recruit you. Didn't have to spend a lot of the recruiting budget to come watch you play. But also the flip side now is that your family has probably had an opportunity to see you play a number of times too in college. Absolutely. And it definitely helps. I have so many younger brothers and sisters that sometimes it's a lot easier for them to all make it to the games with it being so close. So it's awesome just to always know that my family is going to be here. So, Well, we talked about the MIAA and it being a tough league. You were mentioning that league play starts and it gets underway for you all on Friday. So let's talk about that. You all are number three in the country, but you're not alone in the MIAA. Four teams from the conference in the top 12 in the AVCA rankings right now. So your regular season MIAA matches start on Friday, and you travel to Fort Hayes State to take on the Tigers on Friday, and then you travel north on Saturday. You're taking on the number one team in the country in Nebraska, Kearney, a team that you know very well, I'm sure, in your time there. In your last five matches, you've all have gone two and three against the Lopers, including, by the way, a victory when they were the number one team in the country a little while back, and that's what they'll be when you face them on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting. I am very excited for that game, but the biggest thing right now that we have to focus on is preparing for Fort Hayes because, again, this conference is so strong that anybody can win. So it's really great to know that every single game matters and you can't just show up and expect to win. So. Well, I do. I appreciate the wisdom of the senior there that I'm getting to hear right now. And success to you all this season. It's been a privilege, Faith, to get to visit with you. The MIAA reigning defensive athlete of the week, a senior playing for Washburn. And again, success to you, to Coach Heron, to the entire Washburn team. We'll continue following you along this year. Thank you for taking time with us here today on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet. Absolutely. Thank you.